Hello YouTubers, today I got, I'm going to show you this British outlet slash socket slash mains power sockets that I got here. Now they call them newer different names as I explained here in the video just a few seconds ago. About a month ago, over a month ago I finally received this from England. It took about maybe a week and a half to arrive believe it or not. Despite the whole thing going on, but I ordered it. I ordered a single, not a single gang, a double gang box. This is their version of a double gang box. And then a double gang set of outlets. As well as one of these plugs. I already had another one on hand that I had from a thing. I took off a step down transformer I found it at the Goodwill, which is this one, and it's legit. It's branded by PMS, which is a legit company in, in, in England. Blah, can't talk today. Can't always talk in some videos for some reason. But you may be asking, why did I why did I buy this and why did I wire a 15 amp 120 volt core to it? The main reason is, I like these switches. I like to have switches nearby if I want to test something of an unknown condition. Like maybe like a computer. Whatever, because people give me computers a lot. Or all the time, or other pieces piece of electronics. That are in unknown condition. I primarily try to test them in the shop in case, you know, fireworks shoot out somewhere. Which never has happened, but... I could just flip the switch right on. And if it goes, then I turn it off like that before, you know, if the breaker didn't trip already. Just for safe measures. Now, the switches here, there's red on the top. That means that the, the, that the sockets are powered up. At least, for those that live in England, obviously know that. But, for, new, for newbies like me, that's how we know. Completely different from your standard... Just a standard 15 amp 120 volt outlet. Now, this will also be great to make if you have relatives that live in England, but you're here back in the States, and all you have is this. And you, sometimes they may want to bring gadgets like, I don't know, alarm clock, laptop charger, cell phone chargers. Anything that has a switching mode power supply that will both that will accept either both 120 volts or 230 volts This will be perfect for that and plus this is not one of those cheap travel adapters you get at Walmart That doesn't have a ground 90% of the time. That's unsafe. You got to have ground. How dare they not put ground and plus I wired it the exact polarity how their sockets are wired in Back in England, this is your neutral, this is your hot, and this is your earth ground. I wired it exactly, exactly the way how they have it over there. Because 90% of the time you buy those travel adapters, the polarity is always flipped. And sometimes it's not good for some electronics. Also, how dare they? Dare they mess up our electronics. This is homemade, and this is 100% safe. Just a word of caution, if you want to buy one of these, do not buy the ones with USB ports or any special lights or anything like that. This is just a basic standalone outlet slash sockets you could get. Now of course, sometimes there's some sales on the ebay.co.uk. You got to go there to find these. And some of those sellers will support... Will support you know shipping this back to the u.s which i got lucky in this case and shipping and customs wasn't too bad for this the only downside is they use bakelite plastic still so so this this came already this came in the mail so it kind of got slightly a little damaged but not too bad now i'm gonna plug this into the wall here I'll show you right here. 
plugged in to a standard 15 amp 120 volt outlet. And by the way, these are 13 amps at 230 volts. But the good news is maybe the fuse might act quickly. Quickly in these plugs, there's internal fuses on these plugs, but they're replaceable. Now you may be asking, what's this all about? This is just a special extension. You know, to plug your computer in, this is just a standard IE plug that you plug into most older flat screen TV sets, computer monitors, desktop computers, and other types of power supplies. Hooked up to a British plug, wired up the correct way, of course, because that matters. And then here, I just, this one got a little creative. I took a female, I think female or male, and I always get these confused. But I cut this off of a broken fog machine controller. Because this, this has, it's just a standard IE cable at the end of the day. One neutral, one hot, one ground. Color codes are all the same. And I just stuck one of these plugs on there. Which I know you may see it's counterproductive, but I like it because of the switches. But also, if you want to take these to England, and you can, but this cord I wouldn't really... This one here I would not recommend, because this is 18 gauge. Maybe they need like 16 gauge minimum. So I got one plugged in here, and then I'm going to plug in this lamp here into this plug. And I already turned the lamp on, so I try to get it in the same frame. See, and it works. And I also, this outlet I showed is another extension, which this plug here I ordered from England as well. To plug right into here. And you can independently control the outlets, which is nice. I like that. I plugged in CRT TVs, I plugged in heavy equipment into this already and it works just fine and here I got another lamp yes I have multiple lamps because you know I always people in my neighborhood always throw good stuff out like this in the street all the time so I got that for free had a missing one of the missing little wheels for the, the little lamp switch wheel I call them so I might have to turn the lamp on. I didn't turn this one on ahead of time. There we go. So yeah, this works fantastic. If you ever want to get one of these, again, go to ebay.co.uk. That's the British eBay. Not the US. The British. Just unplug it from the wall. And I'll show you, and I have to show you something here on the side. This clamp here, this wire clamp, I did not buy from e from from England. I don't know if they even make these over there, to be honest. But this is just this one of standard. It's it's a Halex connector. That's the brand of it. It's made by Halex slash. Yeah, it's just a Halex standard wire clamp. Screw it down and clamps your, clamps your wire down. Just get it enough to where it won't, you know, rub up against the sharp edges of the knockout. A word of advice here. These knockouts may look like half-inch knockout, or just a half-inch knockout. These are slightly smaller because, again, they, they don't use, they don't use inches. They don't use inches. They just, they use millimeters and meters and whatnot. So these are slightly smaller, so what I had to do was I I had a Dremel tool with the little with the little grinding bit on it and I had to grind some of the metal off of the knockout to make this fit in there. So that way then I'm able to safely use this on this cord here, which by the way is 14 gauge. In case some of you asked, this is from an over the range microwave. I always find them in my, I always find them thrown out in my neighborhood all the time as well. Box is grounded. Poor, and I like to ground everything. Ground serves a critical purpose. Like I said, 90% of those travel adapters you get at Walmart, Target, 
and other electronic stores, they don't have a ground. Sadly, sometimes they don't have a ground, or sometimes the polarities flipped. So you could take you. So like I said, you got relatives in England. This is perfect for them. Or if you wanted to go to England yourself, you could probably use one of these because you could get your ground on here, and the polarity will be always correct. Ground's important. And yes, I will cover that up. Just wire one of these on there. Make sure it has a fuse in it. And this is a 16 gauge cord. 16, not 18. 16 gauge. And this was just a standard standard orange extension cord I had laying around because you know, one of the dogs tore up an extension cord a long time ago. So I had to end up butchering it. So I just cut some of this wire off. It's still good. Not chewed up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you that always wondered how would these perform here in America, these perform great. Again, basic. You could probably get away getting a light switch as well. One of the standalone light switches they have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. And that was a fail.